Hey guys, welcome back to my part three of my tutorial. Now, in this part, it's more an advanced tutorial in terms of how to dock. If you guys watched my first part, which I would recommend you should watch my first part before you watch this part, and you docked in my first part, I'm really happy you docked and I'm really happy I helped you out. Now, the cool thing is about the first part, I pretty much say it on uh, the most simplest terms. Of course, the first part is the correct way to dock, but not the most efficient way to dock. Because remember in the first part, you're burning at least, you know, three, four times in different points. <coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. In different points to get your actual orbit and to get a very close intersect. Now that's cool, but the problem is burning three, four different times, you're burning three, four different times, so you're burning your fuel and losing a lot of, uh, a lot of fuel. You know, it's not very fuel efficient. So uh, that's not the best way to do it and not the most efficient way to do it. Now, there are different ways to do it. Uh, I'm going to show you another way to do it, a more efficient way to do it. Now, for example, if I want to actually rendezvous with my Dumbo ship, I have my other Dumbo ship here, this is just for test purposes, and uh, what I need to do is I need my Dumbo ship to be right on top of me, or at least one centimeter behind me. Once it's one centimeter behind me, I'm going to start launching my actual ship. Now, the whole point of this, I'm going to explain to you what the advanced difference is. I'm not going to need to burn three, four, or five different times in different positions to get a close rendezvous with my ship, because that's wasting a lot of fuel. And this one, I'm going to do it directly from the launch. I'm going to get a very similar orbit, and I'm going to catch up to it. Of course, this prevents me from burning three, four different times, which in turn prevents me from burning a lot of extra fuel. And in other terms that KSP people like to use, it saves you a lot of delta V that being a lot of fuel. So we're going to save a lot of fuel with the, with the unnecessary need to burn three, four different times. Of course, this, uh, you can say, method applies to all planets or moons you're on. It's pretty much the same thing if you're launching off the surface and you want to dock with something. Wait for it to be at least one centimeter behind you and then start launching. Now, when you wait for it to be one centimeter behind you, here is the key part. And you're going to start launching. Obviously, the, the ship will move in front of you. When the actual target ship moves in front of you, make sure your orbit that you're making is below that ship, a little bit below that ship. This is the important part. This is what's advanced, pretty much. This is it. Make sure your orbit is below the actual target ship. Why? Because when you're below, remember, you're going faster, so you're going to catch up to it, okay? And now, if your ship is behind you, then make sure that your orbit is above the actual target ship or the target orbit being this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to speed it up a bit. Let's get it closer. And I'm happy with it there. You see, one centimeter behind. And I'm going to start. We're going to put up full power, put on our SAS and launch. Now, let's just zoom out. Now you're going to see we're going to get our orbit. Now we're going to make sure it's below because obviously the Dumbo ship is going to pass us. So we need to make sure our orbit's below so we can catch up to it. What's going to happen is we don't do the three, four, or five, six additional burns that I showed you in part one. We're going to pretty much just be doing a single burn directly from our launch. And we're going to get a very similar orbit to our target ship. So it'll get us already very, very close to our target ship without burning all the extra fuel or delta V, if you'd like to call it. And you want to be all technical and all cool KSP terms. So here we go. We're at 8,000 feet. I'm going to break a little bit. 90 now. 10,000 feet. 10,000 meters, sorry. And uh, fuel should finish. There it goes. Okay. Now remember, at uh, 37,000, if we stop our power now, it's going to be pulled down because of gravity. But usually around 37,000, it does pretty much die out. So, see, we're going up, we're going up, we're going up. And hold on. Stop it there. It's going still a little bit down because of gravity. But look at our height. We're only at 32. Around 37,000 meters, it doesn't go as quickly down. You notice now it's going a little bit slower. At 37, 38, that's perfect. Let's go a little bit. Let's let's increase our power. See, now I just made it just below. Because remember, our ship is in front of us that we're trying to dock with. See, now this will save you the four or five burns that you saw me do in part one and part two. You know, which is quite a lot. Now let's speed it up. Hold on, let me save it. Well, I'm back and uh, how to deal with the phone call. So where were we? Yeah, we're getting to the orbit. So let's speed it up. You see it's going in front of me, which is great. If it's in front of me and I'm going to be behind, which I am going to be behind it, I need to have my orbit just below it, which I just did here, as you see. Now, we're going to time warp it till we get up. 
How much fuel we got left in this one? Teeny weeny bit. We're gonna get up and then we're gonna burn from here. Okay, let's slow it down now. Let's move into place. Okay. And start burn now. That'll stop, we know it finished. Like now. Because it's a tiny ship, that's why it wobbles a lot. Because the RCS I put on it is very powerful for it, so that's pretty funny. Uh, if you noticed in part 1 and 2, that's what happens. It wobbles a lot because the RCS is very strong for such a small ship. Now, you see I am below it. My uh, ship, which is a little in front of me. Okay, it's a little bit more in front of me, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's in front of me, my orbit's got to be below it. If it's uh, behind me, my target ship, my orbit's got to be abo above it. But it's easier if your orbits blow and the ship's in front of you, so. Okay. Gotta move all the way down. We're gonna be getting our orbit. Around 2100, we do get the. Hold on, we're catching up to our Apple apps. Just let me move a little bit up. I don't wanna catch up to it. Around the 2100 mark, we're gonna have enough speed to make a proper orbit, so there we go. I do want to stay at the apoapsis, because remember, I don't want to raise it or lower it. 1,800. 900. Two thousand, okay, it should come soon. 2,100. Okay, ignore the intersects. You need first an orbit. Now again, when you make the orbit, don't make it exactly to hit. Uh, don't make it hit the exact target orbit, yeah? So make it a little bit below. Hold on. Let's catch up to it. Okay, hold on. Excellent, we caught up to it. Okay, and there we go, and 80. I'm satisfied with that, a little bit more maybe. Okay. Now, the exact same principle applies. Remember, I did this directly off my launch. I didn't need to burn four or five times in different locations. You gotta watch part one if you don't know what I'm saying. Remember, you guys that watch part one, I, didn't, I had to burn four or five different times to get a nice similar orbit as my target orbit. So now I did it directly off the launch. So the same thing, as long as I'm a little bit below, which I am below, I am faster, so these things are gonna catch up to each other. So it's 146.7 kilometers, let's speed it up. It should come less, because remember, I'm going from inside. I did leave a little bit of a bigger gap, so it jumps a little bit more. So we'll see how many kilometers it kills. So we're 146. Let's see how many kilometers it kills. Come on. Okay. That's a lot of fuel saved. You know, that's like five, six extra burns. A lot of Delta V saved. Let's pretend we know what the fuck we're talking about. So 146. So let's see how much it jumps by. 36. So that's great. No. It's 36 kilometers, and remember, we jumped behind it now. So since we jumped behind it, I do want to get our orbits a little bit closer. Ah. Shit. I was. Okay, I can still do it. Hold on. I remember, it crossed. So it's 17.6. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because it jumped behind it. If I burn more, I make the orbits closer to each other. Okay, so. Now we've got to be very sensitive in terms of this. 14. I'm accelerating very little. 8. Okay, that's it. As close as I can get to a 7 point something. So, now, we will go to our 7 point something. I, I burned pretty much nothing. No fuel. Like, re really, really efficiently. You know, I'm sure there is even a 100% efficiency way of dealing with this shit, but who cares? This is really as efficient as you need it to get to. Okay, so. Target, look how fast in relation to our target. I don't even need to break a lot. Okay, 99, 80, 70, 60. Let's slow it down. So the closest we can get to is 7.4. So let's go, let's see where our target is. 
I think our target is too far. Yeah, our target is too far. Okay, let's get closer. Now I think we should be able to see it. 7.4 is the closest, so there it is, 7.4. So what we're going to do is, uh, at 7.4 kilometers too far, what we're going to do is the same thing as we did in part 1. We're going to get our yellow circle on the pink circle. And to do that, of course, we got to burn above it. 7.1 Okay, now we're going a little bit faster, 161 Now we're going to go to the opposite end and start to break We are at 3.8, so we're going like, we're killing a kilometer We're 160 kilometers faster, so we can start breaking now Okay, no, let's leave it at 70. Let's get it properly on the pink one. Same thing that we did last time. I burn it down, I move it up. We're very close. Let's speed it up so we kill more of our speed. We kill more of our speed at 22 kilometers, 22 meters faster. 13.1 meters per second. Which is fine, I'll leave it, because we're still far, you know, I don't want to wait six hours, so... I'll leave it... See, I'm not using any RCS to break, this is all without RCS. So... 600 meters per second. La -dee -da -dee. I hope you guys got it. it, it's really easy. This really saved you a lot of fuel. You know, like a lot of fuel, you don't have to make like... Six, seven different types of burns to get the proper orbit. 300 meters, we're still far. I don't want to kill the speed, otherwise it'll take forever and I don't want to wait. Okay, I'll slow down once we hit the 100 meter mark. 200 meters, come on. And we're ri right on course, yeah? The yellow cross on the pink cross, and I'm sure the yellow circle's on the pink circle, so... All is good. Okay, 100 meters, let's start slowing down. Okay. Okay, we switch ship. Where the hell's our ship? This is what I hate, I can't find my damn ship every time. Okay. Now I'm gonna use the IJK keys, remember? Okay, switch ship. Hopefully I'll be able to see it now. Ha, ah, there we are. Okay, so set that as a target. Hurry up, hurry up. Okay, let's face my ships. There it is. T. Switch ship. Face my target. Now remember, since I do have the RCS properly set up, set as target. And there you go, a docking. Now, of course, uh, since I do have properly the RCS set up this time, so uh, a little bit sloppy docking, because I should have started braking a little bit earlier, but never mind, it docks. Come on, dock, you stupid thing. There you go. Now, let's redo this for the approach, just to show you what you should properly do. Control from here, undock. control from here. So, let's set this as target. We are, of course, going away from our target. Okay, watch this. And since I have properly set up my actual uh, RCS thrusters, it means I have H and N keys. So you see N blows in front of me, so N slows me down in relation to my target. So if I'm approaching my target fast, I can slow down using N, so what we're going to do is set that as target, face our ship, that's the opposite, that's the cross, 
Face our ship, there it is, our ship is there, that way. Okay, face it that way. And now we're gonna... Set us target. Now we can accelerate a bit. See, now I'm going towards it at 0 0.1 meters per second, so it should shrink. Again, I'll use my J, K, and I keys to move it on. Now, if I was going a little bit faster, like for example, now I made it 0.3, to slow down, I can use, I, I can't remember if it's either N or H, so I just take a look. See, I blew in front, so it's N. So N slows me down, as you see, it slowed me down to 2, 0.2. And again, remember, keep in mind, when you do use uh, the N, you are, you can say, accelerating the opposite way. So, if I accelerate from here, the yellow circle will move up. So, keep that in mind. I really hope this makes sense. The yellow circle does move, remember. The ball with the wind thing, whatever. So, we are catching up to it now. It's a little bit slow. It's fine. Again, I accelerate it a bit just to speed it up. I can block us at that point. Okay, and we are having a perfect... I can switch to the other ship. And you see we're a little bit off, so I did move my marker right on course. Okay. Set the target, we're 0.4, so N slows me down, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, use my J keys. 0.1. See, that's the perfect way to dock. Okay, this is the way it should be done. You don't have to. With small ships like this, it doesn't matter if you go fast, like the first time you saw me. But with larger ships, I would prefer you slow down to point one using the N and H keys. I can't remember. I think it's N, N, N. H uh, blows the RCS from back, so it does speed you up a bit. So there we go. Again, moving my... There we go. And that's our docking for... Uh, the advanced. I hope you guys understand this. This will save you a lot of fuel and much more efficient. And as always, happy gaming. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and take care. Bye.